once you're done with your preparation for life in the UK test the next step is booking your life in the UK test uh, for some people it is a bit complicated um, or it has been made complicated by some people to get some money out of their pocket but it's a very very simple thing I'll guide you step by step uh, in this video about how to book your life in the UK test you have to book it online so let us see this is the official website um, which you can see here um, www.gov.uk life in the UK test and I tell you this is the only website where you can book life in the UK test and that is the official website um, so I hope that you can um, use this you can copy and paste this or simply Google um, how to book my life in the UK test and it will uh, give you the link to this uh, website that I've mentioned um, so that's how you reach this website the next thing is when to book the test when you are ready obviously you can book the test but there are some um, technical um, sides of uh, booking the test so you should book the test at least three days in advance you can't book the test for tomorrow if you are doing booking it today um, and there are 30 test centers in the UK uh, you will be allocated the nearest test center or given the nearest test center but you can choose wherever you want to go I mean if you want to book a test in Scotland that's fine um, but when you put your postcode uh, while booking it will tell you the nearest first and then you can choose uh, if there is um, any availability over there if not then you can choose the farthest ones right so that's how you um, you do it and when you do it you <coughs> uh, so three days in advance uh, in the 30 centers across the UK the cost of the test is 50 pounds each time you book a test uh, you can book as many tests as you can uh, in case you're not sure uh, to pass it in the first go now for example your deadline is approaching your deadline for applying uh, for uh, citizenship or the British passport is approaching and you are not sure whether you would pass the test or not so what some people do is they book two or three tests in one go so you can do that okay so if you want to cancel your test you will get a refund if you cancel it three days which is 72 hours before the test is due now what if you have booked let's say two or three tests okay so let us take two tests so you have booked two tests you pass the first test and uh, before the um, the test date of the second test um, three days before you can cancel it and if you cancel it then you get refund okay but if you don't cancel it three days before then obviously you won't get any refund so sometime it is safe to book um, two or three tests if you want to when you are booking the test online on the website that I showed you in the first slide um, you need an email address it could be your email address it could be your spouse's email address uh, or it could be someone else's e email address that you can access you should have a debit or credit card and you should have an acceptable form of ID which is a photo ID passport or visa okay the next thing is what are the acceptable IDs valid passport valid travel document with a photo you cannot use an emergency travel document for uh, for an ID your biometrics um, residence permit and your biometric residence card which is almost the same thing but it should be having a photo on it what happens on the day of the test so first of all your ID is checked and matched with the booking details and then you will be given a locker and asked to put everything including your wristwatch any jewelry any rings in it and then you'll be taken to your computer station in the test room and there will be CCTVs uh, in the test room right above you one and um, at the entrance as well so, so there are so many of them so everyone will be using uh, a different test station with a different test on it okay so let's say if there are 30 people sitting in a test room they will be 
doing 30 different tests from uh, from a you could say a pool of um, questions 24 questions on each uh, station uh, out of those five chapters that I mentioned in my uh, life in the UK test preparation video it's very important to note that if you do not take your ID with you you will not be allowed to do the test and it is also very important to note that if you take a different ID for example if you booked your test with your passport but you take your biometrics they will not allow you to do the test that this is very simple and clean so whatever ID you use for booking you have to take that ID okay in both cases you will not get a refund if you take a different ID okay right there are so many people who make a very uh, silly mistake I would say and uh, they are unsuccessful in doing the test uh, I mean they are not given access to do the test when they are uh, at the test center this is it if you put your name in the wrong way okay uh, you will not be allowed to, to do the test for example I have just taken an example of Muhammad Ali Clay's um, name uh, which has got three names in it so if your ID says first name as Muhammad here and your ID does not have a middle name but your last name on your ID is Ali and Clay you should write it like that when you are booking the test okay now if you write your name like this on booking uh, website like first name is Mohammed the middle name is Ali and the third name is Clay okay this is your name obviously but I guarantee you that they will not allow you to do the test because in your ID there is no middle name but in your booking there is Ali as your middle name so please make sure that your first name matches the first name in your ID and your last name matches the last name in your ID yes if you have a middle name in your ID then you should do it so simple tip write your name as it is written on your ID that's it okay we move on what if you have no ID if you have no ID simple answer is you will not be allowed to do the test but there are very exceptional cases um, in which they can allow but it is only the home, home office it is the discretion of the home office if they allow you they can allow but um, please don't uh, take it as an option it is not an option um, I mean it is simply a very polite way of saying no okay so without an ID you will not be having any test but in case you have lost you can send an email to this uh, email address so let's see what happens then they might ask you um, to wait or they might extend your date or something but um, chances are that they would somehow um, ask you to provide some f form of ID um, so please make sure that you have an ID before you book the test okay if you have any disability and you need extra equipment to help accessing the center you can make special requests when you book your test so um, this is possible and you I mean if you have a disability obviously you you have a right to claim for that um, facility so this was um, this was all about booking the test it's very simple okay so it's not a complicated thing to make the long story short I would say that you must have an ID you must have an email address and you should have an access to debit or credit card with which you pay um, the fee the 50 pounds for the test if you have all these things you can simply go on um, the website which is the government website book the test online they will send you an email with full details time center postcode even the map okay because they need the email for this purpose okay and then you can obviously print that they will send you a receipt you need to print that and then you need to show it to the um, to the person in the exam center 
okay who will have a look at it so this was all about booking the life in the UK test if you still need any help please let me know I'll try to help you thank you very much good luck and bye